So when Maya called me in September of last year, when we were all frozen and, and, and all you know mentally going through such a hardship with 2020 election, when Maya called me and said she's running for mayor, I was overjoyed. I was so excited. I couldn't because I just thought about my daughter growing up in New York with Maya as mayor. And my heart swelled. I immediately donated to her campaign. I immediately endorsed her. And through all the strength and grace I've seen from Maya over the years and how she's inspired me personally, I'm going to add an endorsement that I don't think any other person out there can be. Not AOC, not Elizabeth Warren. So from 2017, I've been working on a novel that Sarah has politely pretended to listen to me talk about, um, about it, it, this, this dystopian novel, about it, this big resistance movement and all these strong women and strong men who love strong women fighting back. And it's about the power of mothers and daughters and the power of female friendship. And one of the heroes in this novel, I named her Maya. And so for somebody, for a human being to make a work of art is one thing. For a human being to pay tribute to somebody else in that art with the name, that shows you just how much I trust Maya to run this city and how much I trust Maya to build a safer, healthier, more inclusive and cleaner New York where I can feel safe and secure raising my daughter. And so I urge all New Yorkers to please join me in voting number one number one choice for Maya Wiley. I trust her with my family. I trust her with my city. I trust her. I love her. And I'm so proud of what she's done.